<laughs> you vipers brood! Who warned you to escape from the coming retribution? Then prove your repentance by the fruit it bears. And do not presume to say to yourselves, we have Abraham for our father. I tell you, God can make children for Abraham out of these stones here. Already the axe is laid to the roots of the trees, and every tree that fails to produce good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance sake. But he who comes after me is mightier than I. I am not fit to take off his shoes. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Do you come to me? Yeah, I want to get washed up. I need to be baptized by you. No, no. Let it be so for the present. We do well now to conform with all that God requires. When will thou save the people? O oh God of mercy, when? Not kings and lords and nations, not thrones and crowns, but men. Where is all thy heart? O oh God, are they? Let them not pass like these away. Nor man. 
But this widow is so great a nuisance, I will see her right in before she wears me down with her persistence. You hear what the unjust judge says. Will God not vindicate his chosen, who cry out to him day and night while he sits listening to them patiently? Will he? Will he? I tell you, he will vindicate them soon enough. There once was a king yeah, yeah. who decided to settle accounts with the men who served him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at the outset, there appeared before a master a man whose debt ran into the millions. What? Into the millions. Whoa. Since the man had no means of paying the money, the master ordered the men to be sold to meet the debt with his wife Whoa. and his child Whoa. and everything he had. Well, the man threw himself down at the master's feet and went, Oh, uh, be patient with me, he said, and I will pay you in full. And so moved with pity was the master that he decided to free the man and remit the debt. And let's hear it from the master. <laughs> Wait a minute, master. That's not the end of the story. No sooner had the man gone out than he met a fellow servant who owed him a few dollars. He gripped him by the throat and said, Pay me what you owe me. The man threw himself at the fellow servant's feet and begged him, saying, but, but, Be patient with me and I shall but, but, but pay you. But he refused and had him jailed until he could pay the debts. Well, the other servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. They ran and told their masters the whole story. Accordingly, he sent for the man. You scoundrel! He said to him, I remitted the whole of your death when you appealed to me. Are you not bound to show your fellow servant the same pity I showed you? And so freaking was his shirt pocket that he clicked the shorts and forplunked the schmutz. What? Yes. And so angry was the master that he condemned the man to torture until he could pay the debt in full. <laughs> and that is how my heavenly father will deal with you unless you forgive your brothers with all your heart.
then you yourself shall not be judged. For whatever you deal out to others, hey, ow, watch it, ow, oh. ow, ow, are you little? Stop it! Ow! Hey! Ow! I will be dealt back to you. Therefore, never set yourself against the man who has wronged you. So if someone slaps you on the right cheek, turn and offer them your left. Oh, gee. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. Hello? It's for you. It's your father. He says he just won tickets to the Good Samaritan show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> A man was on his way from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell in among robbers who beat him, stripped him, and left, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest came upon him, but when he saw him, he went past on the other side. So too, a judge came to the place, and when he saw him, he went past on the other side. But a Samaritan, who was making the journey, saw him, and came and... Came upon him, he was moved with pity. And was moved with pity. He came... He went up, it's all right. He went up, bandaged... His wounds with oil and wine. Then... He put him onto his own beast, brought him to an inn, and looked after him there. <laughs> it's gonna work out. <laughs> the next day, he put his two pieces of silver and gave them to the innkeeper and said, Look after him, and if you spend any more, I shall repay you on my way back.
Master, blessed are those poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall have mercy. Blessed is pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you. When all men shall revile you and persecute you and commit all evil against you falsely. Uh, did I ever tell you I used to read V? Yes. No, no, it's true. Some people read poems or tea leaves, but I, leave, I read V. Uh, here, look what this book says. Rejoice! It says Nike. <laughs> no, no, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for grace is your reward in heaven. When you feel sad or under a curse, your life is dead, your prospects are worse, your wife is sighing, crying, and your olive tree is dying. Samples of gray and dealer, the gang and creditors weigh your purse. Your mood and your rope are both of the blue. You bet that your had nothing on you. But don't forget that when you get to heaven, you'll be blessed. Yes, it's all for the best. Some seed fell on a rock. And after coming off, 
withered for lack of moisture. Oh. <laughs> Some seed fell in among weeds, and they grew up with it and choked it. <laughs> and some seed fell into good soil. And some seed fell into good soil. What? Oh, it's us. <laughs> and it grew and it yielded a hundredfold. Now, if you have ears to hear, then listen. Listen, for this is what the parable means. Do you know what the seed is? A baby? Uh, no. The seed is the word of God. The seed which fell among the footpath, that represents those who hear the word. But then the devil comes and carries them off for fear that they should believe and be saved. And that seed which fell in among the rock, that represents those who receive the word with joy, but have no root. So in times of testing, they deserve it. And that seed which fell in among the weeds. They received the word, but their further growth is impaired by cares and wealth and joys of the world. But that seed which fell in among good soil. Good soil! That represents those who hear the word with a good and honest heart, and through perseverance, yield a harvest.
when the Son of Man comes in all his glory, with all his angels with him, he will sit on the state of his throne, with all the nations gathered before him. And he will separate them as shepherds separate their sheep, mad from the goats and bad from the sheep. The sheep will be on his right and the goats on his left. And then he will say to those on his right, that has been ready since the world was made. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked and without a home, you took me into your house. And when I was ill and in prison, you came to my aid. Hey, get back there. Hey, I'm seeing <laughs> And then they will say to him, hungry. <laughs> And we gave you food, and when you were thirsty, and gave you drink, or in prison, and helped you. Ah. And then you say to them, whatever you did, however humble for one of your brothers, you did for me. Oh, I get it. Ah. And then he will say to those on his left, You move yeah. from my sight to the eternal fire. Yeah. The eternal fire where all the devil and all his angels have been waiting for you. For when I was hungry, you did not give me food. When I was thirsty, you did not give me drink. When I was naked and without a home, you did not take me into your house. And when I was ill and in prison, you did not come to my aid. And then they will say to him, oh, Master, if we'd known it was you, we would have taken you out for a couple of lamb chops. <laughs> Brothers, however humble, you did not do for me. Go take your place in eternal punishment. But the righteous shall have everlasting life. Check, 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 check
Oh, oh snake, if you ask for fish. No, who are you then? Bad as you are, now we know how to give your children what is good for them. How much more will your heavenly father give good things? Good things, good things, good things, yeah. Who knows who ask of them? Always treat others as they would have them treat you. Oh, yeah. And that is the law and the prophets. The law and the prophets, 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 the law and the prophets.
One of you among us will betray me. Take this and eat. Eat, for this is my body. Baruch Ta Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei Pri HaGafen. Take this and drink, for this is my blood. The blood of the covenant sheds for the forgiveness of sins, and I tell you, I shall never again drink from the fruit of the vine until I drink it again with you, the kingdom of my Father. Those who live 
live by the sword, die by the sword. Do you not suppose that I cannot once appeal to my father, who would have once sent me twelve legions of angels to my aid? Do you take me for a bandit to come after me with swords and cudgels? Well, day after day I sat teaching in the synagogue, and you didn't come after me then. And all of this has happened to fulfill what the prophets have written. <laughs>